I am here today with my good friend, Becky Spencer, all the way from Bermuda. Hi, Becky. Hi, good to see you. I miss you. <laughs> I miss the Bermuda sunshine, for sure. I'm so glad that you could be with us today. And um, I really, this week is all about healthy habits. And so I'm really excited to hear what are the three healthy habits that have really taken you to this next level of your health journey? Oh, and what a journey it's been, <laughs> as you know, with your help. Um, and thank you for that, by the way. Um, so yes, over the past several years, I've been really taking a deep dive on my own health. Um, I'm also a health coach, so I help other people kind of um, look at the layers that are going on in their own health journey and helping them find um the barriers to good health. So I was also at the same time doing that for myself as we all are all the time. And um, one of the things that I realize in our world now is how toxic we all are. And that can come from a variety of sources, our food, our air, our water, um, the products, especially as women are putting on our faces and our bodies, which is our biggest organ is our skin. And one of the big ones that a lot of women aren't really aware of, which I became very aware of over the last few years with my own health is breast implants. And so I had unfortunately making, made the decision years and years ago to get breast implants after having my children. And I was quite toxic and getting worse and worse as the years went on and I came into menopause. And um, yeah, so making the decision to finally get those out at the beginning of the year was a huge game changer for my health. And it's taking me even now, what, 11 months later to still have that process of detoxification going on in, in, in all different ways. So um, that would be something I would encourage you to talk to your patients about is, is do they have breast implants and how could that possibly be affecting their health? This is such a great one to bring up, Becky, because we often don't think about that. These things that we put into our bodies, that could be causing toxicity, right? We feel that everything, oh, it must be safe. Yeah. But whether it's breast implants or dental fillings or, you know, all these sorts of all things. All kinds of implants it's now. Great. Butt implants. Who would have thunk? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that you're feeling better that you had them taken out. And just the experience, like if women are just happen to be watching, you know, was it... Um, very complicated procedure and everything for you? Um, the most important part of an explant surgery is finding an explant surgeon who specializes in that. So you may not be able to necessarily go back to the doctor you, who put them in you. Um, and now that more and more women are becoming aware and becoming sick from them, they are. there are a lot of doctors now that are specializing in an explant. And it's the key to it is getting the whole implant with the capsule that forms to protect your body from it, to get that all out as one piece. So it doesn't break open and those toxins then go even more into your body. So that's why it's really important to get a surgeon that knows what they're doing. And the surgery itself um, wasn't that bad. The healing wasn't that bad. The pain wasn't that bad. So um, it's all individual though, it just depends on you know, your pain tolerance and how sick you actually are from them. And, you know, there's a lot of factors there, but, but yeah, it, it was knock on wood. It was a pretty good, pretty great experience. Wonderful. Well, thanks for sharing. That is definitely something in your health that would have made dramatic changes. Huge. Yes. So now I want to shout it to the rooftops to other women so that they know. And you've got two more for us. Yes. Um, so, you know, the other thing that in, in our, in our daily uh, lives now that we're kind of all suffering from is a lack of nutrients and it's, our food is so depleted now and we, that makes us depleted because the soil's depleted. So the, you know, the plants aren't getting the minerals out of the soil. And so one of the things that I've really focused on in the last few months to see how it would make a difference is remineralizing my body and making it a little more alkaline. And there's lots of way you can do it. You can do it with just plants and, and food. However, like I said, you'd have to eat a lot of plants to really get that bang for the buck. So what I've tried is a couple different things. I'm looking at um, 
uh, using a product from Seeking Health, which is um, an electrolyte product they just came out with, because I've tried different electrolyte products and um, I haven't necessarily had the, the greatest you know, experience with them, but this one seems really good. So that's by Seeking Health. And I've also um, incorporated athletic greens into my morning routine every morning. So that's um, a powerhouse of greens and minerals and all of our, our vitamins and um, even some, you know, nervous system regulation, um, ashwagandha and things like mushrooms, probiotics. So that's like a bunch of different things in one go, which I do take a lot of supplements, I will admit. <laughs> And so that kind of helps to put it all in one place. So you're not taking like 10 different things and boy, it's really helped me with my focus, with my energy staying consistent throughout the day, because again, you know, we're supposed to eat certain amounts of greens and vegetables throughout the day, but we don't always get it in. And if we do get it in, it's still not necessarily going to give us the amount of vitamins and minerals we need. So I do think in this day and age, we kind of do have to supplement a bit. Yeah. And I agree with you too, Becky. I think we do need to put the minerals back in us. Yeah. They're needed so much of our cellular function. And uh, Athletic Greens is a very popular one. Um, I'm actually looking at a spirulina blend and I'll, I'll let you know about that one. Um, yeah. But the other with Seeking Health. So is it similar to like the LMNT? Is it one of those just multi-electrolyte mixes? Yes, it is. It's just not as high in the sodium part of it. And they have some other... Um, I can't think of what the name of it is right now, but it helps it more with the absorption as well. They've got some other things to help with those absorption. Great. Okay. And yeah. we'll share these in the notes below so people can yeah. reference if they're interested in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. And the other huge piece of my healing um, journey, and I think anyone that's going through any kind of a healing journey um, is regulating your nervous system, which you and I have talked about quite a bit. And that has to do with not just like, stress, but you know, we have inside and outside stress. So it's looking at, okay, what's going on on the inside, like my breast implants that was causing my nervous system to always be on and overworked. And then my immune system, you know, maybe not, um, working as well because of that. So it could be toxins, it could be parasites, but it is our lifestyles now. Like we are on these phones 24 seven, we're not getting enough sleep and rest and we're just, in this mindset of go, go, go. And we're doing not being anymore. We're not human beings anymore. So hugely important is if you're going to try to do any kind of healing, you have to have that first step of regulating your nervous system, getting your stress under control. And, um, you can do that in so many ways. There's a whole bunch of information out there now on vagal tone and vagal nerve exercises breathing, humming, meditation, simply resting, you know, singing, walking in nature is hugely uh, valuable for, for, you know, regulating your nervous system, seeing the sunlight three different times a day, you know, letting your eyes see that natural light because we're under these, you know, fluorescent lights all day long. And so, yeah, that's, that's hugely important. And I think, what goes along with your nervous system is looking at your life in general and, and like, what are your relationships? Do you have these relationships that are maybe toxic and causing your nervous system to be like all the time? Right. So I've, I've really taken a holistic, huge overview of my entire life. And so now that's kind of, I'm kind of building programs around my own experience to help other women because, you know, so now everything is talking about middle age and menopause and you know that's a big explosion with that and i'm so glad these things are being discussed now because i feel like there's been like a whole many generations of women that have just been overlooked with all of this so we know so much more now yeah we're so much more aware and but to, to discuss this our nervous system balance it impacts all parts of our life yeah. you know and for me like you said there's so many avenues to do it um, just coming back to Canada, the first thing that comes to my mind is the sunlight, because as our days get really dark, like I'm going to buy, I ordered a red light because in the winter, we don't realize in the North when we don't get that exposure because we physically can't, the sun is just not out, but it can really, you know, this it's called photobiomodulation and how the light has an impact on our body and on our nervous system. I'm so impressed you could say that, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> 
I practice that word. Um, <laughs> but, and we need it. That's the fundamentals. And, you know, as you and I speak and we work, especially with so many women that are in the mode of just going all the time and they're constantly being busy and it's like they're out of breath because there's just no time to sit and to connect with themselves. Yes. And, and for those that are listening to this, what I noticed in my body and, and, and how you can know if your, if your nervous system is off is, do you catch yourself sighing a lot? My, my family would always say, oh, you're always sighing. It's because I was holding my breath. Like I would be making dinner and realize all of a sudden this anxiety was coming over me. And it was because I was holding my breath, not on purpose. That was my nervous system. So having also learning um, breathing exercises is hugely important for that too. Well, Becky, this is just wonderful. So we have looking at getting rid of toxins in our bodies. Uh, we have looking at mineralizing our bodies. And now is nervous system regulation. And Becky, you are just glowing today. I'm so happy that you came online. And can you tell um, the audience just how they could reach out to you? What's the best way? Uh, my website is evolvewithbecky.com. I named my, my uh, wellness company Evolve because we are all evolving in in these crazy times we're in, um, the planet, everything. And, um, or Becky at evolve with Becky.com is my email. And yeah, I, I, I practice kind of a holistic functional medicine approach. So really looking for the layers uh, and, you know, unlocking those layers and barriers to good health and finding the root cause. And, and a lot of times the root cause is not one root cause, as you know, it's a lot of root causes. And then just helping support along the way and kind of being a guide to help women heal. This is wonderful. Thank you so much, Becky. I'm Thank sure you. everyone is going to really appreciate your time. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. Bye.